How's everybody doing? In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and demonstrating the Dunlop Ultex Jazz 3 XL guitar pick. Now this pick is significant to me in the sense that this is my, currently, my daily driver guitar pick that I use every time I play. I was kind of led to this pick by my experience with the Rubia Massad Hawk Picks signature pick, which you can check out my last video if you want to see my review of that. But the problem that I had with that pick mostly was just that it was way too expensive. And with these, they're significantly cheaper. Um, I think they're about $10 for 24 of them. And this is another non-standard shaped guitar pick. So for a lot of people that sounds pretty weird. But this is, to me, after I got used to it, a very comfortable shape for a pick. It has a pointed tip and it's a officially a Jazz 3 XL shape. Now for those of you who don't know, there is a standard Dunlop Jazz 3 shape, which is the shape of it. Um, it's kind of a, a rounded end with a really pointed tip. This is a standard Jazz 3 size, and you'll see the difference here. A regular Jazz 3 is really small. I mean, it's so small. I've tried to play with this pick before, and it just gets totally lost between my fingers, and it's very uncomfortable for me. I But anyway, for me, a Jazz 3 shape is way too small. So, the Jazz 3 XL shape is a significant improvement. In fact, so to show you how small a Jazz 3 regular shape is, this is a standard shape Dunlop pick behind it. And it may, not, it may look like a big difference, but if it doesn't to you, trust me, it's a huge difference. The Jazz 3 XL, on the other hand, is a lot closer to the size of a standard shape guitar pick. So for me, it's a comfortable size. Um, it's a good shape that I've gotten used to and I've come to really appreciate. And this pick is also on the thick side. It's 1.38 millimeters, so almost 1.4, almost the same as the Rubia pick. And this pick is made out of the material Ultex, which Dunlop has used on other picks before. It's kind of a clear very very stiff material um, which I like about it even at 1.38 millimeters this pick has almost no flex and as far as like when you're playing it functionally unless unless you're playing on really heavy strings and slamming it through which I am doing at times using this pick it'll flex a little bit but under normal playing normal riffing it will barely give any flex. If you're trying to shred with it, it really won't flex at all. It just gets the strings moving, it sounds very clear, it just pushes through, releases, and does a fantastic job of what I think a pick should do. I believe that you should want your guitar to be able to ring out as much as possible. You should want your guitar to be able to resonate as much as possible. And this pick really helps out with that. Even when you're playing a Les Paul, which is kind of a mellow sounding guitar, unplugged, you can hear how this pick just slams through the strings. The number one strong suit about the build quality of this pick to me is how much grip it has. 
So most other Ultex picks that I've played, even if they're totally flat, have kind of this sanded feel to them, where the material, it looks and feels as if it was made smooth and then they sanded it on purpose to give it more grip. I don't know if that's the case, but that's what it feels like, and they do have more grip. In addition to the kind of rough sanded feeling surface, this pick in particular has raised letters on both sides about equally and that really helps with grip as well. It doesn't matter which way this pick is facing. Now I don't like to have to hold a pick really tight and I play at times very heavy but I also play a lot of shred stuff where I'm picking lightly but quickly and this pick accomplishes everything that I need it to do because it's just nimble enough that I can shred with it but it's thick enough and grippy enough that I don't need to squeeze the pick when I'm playing. So I can play pretty heavy riffs with a light grip on the pick or a relatively light grip and like a super light grip is hard to pull away from your fingers. It's hard to drop. It's a real grippy pick. <laughs> Now the only real downside to this pick for me is the tip. I know I said I like to have a sharp tip, which is true, so this pick fits in line with that, but the way that the tip is made feels very mass produced. There's a certain feeling of a handmade or a hand burnished edge on a guitar pick, which is that the edge usually feels nice and sharp, very crisp, and it's just a superior edge. That's why a pick that's handmade is going to cost more than a pick that's mass produced. So these obviously being at what they cost, they don't have somebody who's there to literally file the tip and make sure that it is good. Now I've always found these to be consistent, but they're just not superior. So the tip of the pick could be, if it was hand burnished, incredible on this pick, but it, they're just not. So to start off with, you don't have as much of an edge, literally, you don't have as much crispness as let's say the Revia Massad pick or there's just a different feeling to a hand burnished edge. Dunlop even makes a pick called Prime Tone which is a regular standard shape not the Jazz 3 shape and the edge of that feels a lot better than this even though this is a pointed tip. But overall this is a great pick. It's the pick that I use every day currently. That is subject to change of course at any time but right now I've really been liking this pick. I like that they're relatively cheap. You can get a ton of them and put them in all your bags. You don't have to worry about losing them. I like the shape and size and thickness of it. It can accomplish just about everything that I need it to. So anything from really heavy chugging all the way up to shredding and really light picking. It's kind of a jack of all trades pick. It's super grippy and it's just a really good feeling pick. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to share it and subscribe to my channel for more guitar and music related content. Thank you.